All right, cycling at night in Boston, Mass. We're on Tremont, heading into the south end. Bike riding at night. Right here in Boston, south end. East Berkeley and Tremont intersection. So we're gonna be on a nice lane on this little journey. Uh, and that's part of my own rule as far as cycling at night. Pros and cons, should you, should you not. I'm not gonna be out on new terrain or roads, routes that I know are uh, real challenging. Like I won't do a ton on Mass Ave, I won't do a ton on Huntington, uh, those types of things. Try to stick with the lap paint, paths and lanes that are there. And Tremont happens to be, I think it's probably the nicest lane in the city that we have right now. The surface, and look at the width. Heads up. area where there's the beehive and the theaters is just to the right. Beehive's a restaurant with uh, have a lot of live music. Boston Ballet is just to the right up here. So not too bad. I mean if you're on a oh gear I've got a light here when we're at this red light I'll flick it off so we've got a little cool headlight the guys at uh on South Street there Ferris wheel this is what they recommended so I had them throw it on there so there it's off now we'll put it back on it's got a few settings and then on the back there's a uh, just a red light a reflective light and I would definitely, I would definitely do that stuff. I would, for a while, in all honesty. Uh, I wouldn't be out like this, dark. Not that this is, you know, middle of the night, it's not. Um, but I would push it a little and have some trips where coming back, the tail end of the trip, you know, I definitely wish I had lights attached. So lesson learned, I've been doing the lights for a little bit now, a couple years. So there you go, cycling at night, bike riding at night.